What is happening everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today I have an exciting one planned for you guys. We are talking about my top 20 knives under $100 for the entire year of 2023. Now this one did take me a while to get together, so hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, let me know what some of your favorite knives of the entire year were. We got all kinds of different locking mechanisms, different sizes, different blade steels, different price points. Anything under $100 is fair game. I could have done a top 10 under 50 and a top 10 under 100, but I figured let's do a big top 20 under 100 bucks. Let's kick it off with these two knives. They didn't make the cut. This one, the CMB Predator 2, didn't make the cut because it was released literally at the end of 2022, like the last week of 2022. Definitely would have been a top 20 choice for me, no question about it. The CMB Predator 2, 14C, 28N, blade steel, drop point blade, my car to handle, very versatile. Uh, left hand carry can go either way with that nice crossbar lock. Love the pocket clip, love the handle. This would have made the list, no question about it. And we have a knife that I just haven't had that long. The O-Knife Roboto, the Tanto in 154CM. Now this would have made the list, guys. I just didn't have it long enough to put on this list. But this thing has done nothing short of be phenomenal. 154 CM, thin Tanto blade. And you can see I've been using it. I've been scoring sheetrock with it, using it at work every day for about the last week or so. Red and black g Mascus handle and backspacer. A very nice deep carry steel rollover clip that's been recessed. Great size, very strong lockup with this crossbar lock. And on top of all that, this is very fun to carry. Definitely would have made this list had I had it longer. Let's kick off the top 20. So we're going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to put a roller up so you guys can get a fair idea of the size of the knife up against a measuring device. Let me know if you like this idea or dislike this idea. We're going to kick it off with number 20, the Artisan Cutlery Accelerator. This knife isn't going to be for everyone, but if you're looking for a beefy tank-like folder, this is going to be a good candidate. You have this harpoon drop point style blade with a massive belly. You have this nice cutout for deployment. My car to handles, good access to the liner, uh, a nice milled clip, backspacer with an integrated lanyard loop back there. This thing thwacks out. And the way this handle is designed, you could almost do some like lighter duty chopping with this thing or get a nice long reach because of how big this knife really is coming in at over nine inches. This thing is a mammoth, like the Artisan Accelerator, definitely a top 20 buy of the year. Let's get to the next one. One of my favorite under $50 knives of the entire year, the Petrified Fish Viking, coming in with that straight back blade, just about eight and a quarter inches overall, coming in K110 steel. This thing is pokey, this thing is slicey, this thing is a nasty little pocket knife right here. I cut the hell out of myself on it. You have my carta for your handle material, very well finished. I put a titanium clip on this guy. Good access to the liner and this thing is fun as hell to carry. You have the fuller and the front flipper to deploy this guy. It's comfortable. It's, you know, this thing would dole as a self-defense poker. And, you know, it would do day-to-day -day tasks very easily. Definitely a big fan of this knife at this price point, the Petrified Fish Viking. Now we have the CJRB Large Pyrite. This knife could have been higher on this list, but I just didn't get a chance to use it enough. I used it quite a bit, but a lot of these other knives have a lot more use than this one does. RPM 9 for the blade steel, dull thumb studs. It came in different handle materials. The springs on this thing are fantastic. Coming in about eight and three quarters inches overall. You get a nice steel rollover clip for and will be reversible for our lefty brothers. This thing is fidgety, fun, it's thin, it's slicey. This will make a great button lock work and user style knife. 
great size as well plenty of blade shape there and you have that nice drop point blade definitely one of my favorite knives of the entire year let's get to the next one here's another one i've been raving about for most of the year this is the migaron taycog not going to be for everyone coming in just shy of seven inches this knife comes in under 40 bucks or right around 40 bucks the Migron Taycog is coming in 14C 28 end steel. So you are getting a semi premium or premium steel, depending on who you ask. 14C is a fantastic steel, and to get it at 40 bucks is insane. You have this nice, useful, straight back style blade. It is a single stud with a front and rear flipper, but let me tell you, that top flipper is extremely fun to play with. G10 handles, steel liners. You have a deep carry clip here. This is if you just don't want to break the bank and you want a knife that is going to hold up, not too big, could fit in a fifth pocket if need be. Uh, just a little user. No frills, no show, showmanship, just straight up knife. Decent materials at a fantastic price. The Migron Taycog definitely deserves to be on this top 20 just be based off its materials build and price definitely a fantastic user now we got the mammoth boy the savivi ball tear guys coming in over nine inches about nine and one eighth inch you're getting this nasty thin tanto blade coming in 14 c 28 n you got dull deployments with the studs and rear flipper good detent this thing is very slicey very pokey you're getting a lot of knife for your money here you're getting burlap micarta scales deep carry clips savivi standard pocket clip and their standard non-filler tab show side for lefty carry i like that they do lefty carry i hate that they don't do filler tabs we'll get into that more later the only place i don't think they shined was the access for the liner but for all the knife that you're getting for the money it's something i've kind of overlooked you can still get to it and disengage it pretty easily this is a massive tanto right here guys not going to be for everyone but definitely deserves to be in my top 20. so we're checking one out here that kind of took the knife world edc world by storm coming in at seven and a quarter inches long the cjrb pyrite alt or the cjrb pyrite warncliffe Coming with that coated RPM9 Warncliffe-esque sheep's foot S style blade. Cut out for deployment. They came in different handle materials. This one is the smooth steel. Uh, they need a bigger premium version of this knife. And that would be an A plus, guys. I threw a milled clip on this. But I think a little bit more size coming in like S90V and micro milled titanium or something with an inlay that would be you know top five uh so hopefully we get that in 2024 but this still makes top 20 and the cjrb pyrite alt definitely a great little user knife i told you we had some beasts on this list uh, I got this about halfway through the year. This is the Vostid Gator coming in about nine and one eighth inches overall. You're getting a massive chunk of 14C 28N steel thick blade stock. Comes down pretty damn thin though. Nice Warren Cliff style blade. It comes in a sheep's foot as well and other various varieties. I think they make a premium version of this as well. Multi deployments with the studs, front flipper, rear flipper frag handle made out of micarta you have a lower mounted deep carry clip here that will be reversible with a filler tab great job vostid great price point great materials this thing is a massive utility user here not for everybody but definitely a good knife for the money and a, it's going to be a great user let's get to the next one so i know some people disagree with me on this and that's okay but the Civivi Cubit is a fantastic knife, guys. Coming in at seven and a quarter, I think it's a little small for me. I wish it was a little bigger. Um, that's what she said. Coming in 14C, 28N steel, that's great. Blade shape, drop point, nice and thin, that's great. 
The dual thumb studs are comfortable. The button and the cutout for the button is great. The aluminum handles, they're pretty good. I, I wouldn't have mind seeing a micro milled version with aluminum, you know, with some milling or something in it. Uh, but as it stands, pretty good. You know, I don't have any issues with aluminum. It's nice and light. Deep carry clip. I like that. But they didn't put a filler tab on here. It makes this look like shit. That is my opinion. You might disagree. And I don't like that they put a bottle opener here. You might disagree with that as well. There's bottle openers on literally everything these days. Multi-tools, uh, pry bars. Hell, they're putting them on everything. So we don't need it on our knife. I guarantee everyone has at least one other thing that has a uh, bottle opener on it. We don't need it on our pocket knife. Uh, I wish they would have just finished this like every other, you know, normal knife and just, you know, kind of done away with this whole bottle opener idea. The filler tab and that kind of really irked me. It's still a great knife and that's why it's in the top 20, but I think they cut some corners on a few things and I wish it was a little bit bigger and this thing would be, if they took care of those two things, made this a little bigger, maybe added some milling to the handle. Oh my God, this would be in the top three probably, maybe number one, uh, but it just really falls behind because of some of those things. Of course, these are just my opinions, guys. You might disagree, but I have to say what I think and what I feel. So off on the long tangent, we're back to it. The Kaiser Mad Tanto, one of my favorite knives of the year, one of my favorite button locks. With that pocket clip being ultra deep carry, we're coming around eight and a quarter inches overall. 154 cm for the steel, beautiful micarta. Love this micarta. You have a nice looking pivot. You have a barrel for your button. You have a nice micarta backspacer, ultra deep carry clip like I was saying. And then you have this ultra useful low tanto blade in 154 tumbled style stone wash finish great little spring action on this guy nice thick wide handle very hand feeling kaiser and dam designs knock this thing out of the park for the price point love this thing it's a great little user as well with that low tanto blade hollow going into a flat there just a, a great all-around button lock we had a lot of button locks that were neck and neck this year in the Riff and the Mad Tanto. The CJRB Riff here coming in at eight and a quarter RPM nine, clip point esque style blade, deep well fuller, and a rear flipper tab for deployment. Nice little cutout for the button. My car to handles, open constructions, thick steel liners. The spring detent on this thing is extremely good. Feels like you're flicking a knife with an actual detent. Love the riff. One of my favorite button locks. One of my favorite knives of the year coming in at a fantastic price. And some people might disagree with me on this one, but I think this is a hell of a knife. It's built like a tank, locked up solid, great size, great materials. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of steel, but when it's milled out to the gills and it's, you know, still got that strength, but it's a little lighter weight, you know, I don't mind it so much. I'm starting to come around on some steel frame knives, you know, full steel. This comes in at eight and seven eighths inches overall. You have this sheep's foot blade coming in 14C 28N. This is a Civivi and GTC collab. You have this deep fuller on both sides and a rear flipper tab. Detent is tuned absolutely perfectly, guys. Look at that thing just rock it out. Thing just rockets, thwacks out. Uh, it is a steel frame lock with a G10 inlay. It's a good looking knife. I wish the blade was a little taller, but as it sits, I think it's fine. You could even cut this flipper tab off and just have the uh, fuller or the cutout there for deployment and it would work just as good. Milled steel clip there, G10 backspacer. This thing is a monster, a tank, and you know it, it makes a great user and you will not destroy this knife, the Civivi Hypersonic. 
Next up, we got the CJRB Echo, guys. This is the Knife Center exclusive. Doesn't have to be the Knife Center exclusive, and the liner lock version with the contoured handle could easily be right here with this. As a matter of fact, I put it right here with this knife, uh, but we'll, we'll bring this one out just for the example. Knife Center exclusive means titanium bolsters, black micarta as your secondary onlay there, and then you have a milled titanium clip from CJRB, Fantastic looking, fantastic little user. Ray Laconico design. CJRB knocks their button locks out of the park. That's why there's several of them on this list. But like I said, if you like the liner lock, uh, locking mechanism better than a button lock, they make this in a liner lock with contoured handles. I love that just as much as I love this. They are both different feeling knives with the liner lock and the contouring of the handle. This being a button lock with the flat scales, it, they just feel different, uh, but they are both equally very good. Love the Echo, one of my favorite knives of the year. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty, guys, and this is one that really rumbled the, the knife community, and for good reason. Coming in at about seven and a half inches overall, the Migron Moyero coming in 14C, 28N steel. You have G10 handles. They came in a bunch of different flavors. Love this drop point blade. Nice little bit of belly there, a little bit of straight edge there, nice 50-50 choil, and for around 50 bucks or under, not only are you getting all that, but you're getting a milled titanium clip. You're getting a nice white G10 backspacer on this one. Under 50 bucks, guys. This is easily worth to, or easily deserves to be in the top 10 of the year, just based off materials, build, and value. And the price tag, this thing is just insanely good. The Migron Moyero. Love it. Love what Migron's doing and AM8. I hope they keep it up in 2024. So yes, this version was released in 2023. I think over the summer. This is the Concept Convict in its affordable form. And it makes this list because it came out in 2023. I bought it in 2023. Yes, there were other Convicts before this one. But they were different opening mechanisms, different lock mechanisms, different steels. So just different knives. This is just a different version of, you know, a, a similar design of before. So it still makes this list. It's a great user. 154 CM, you have that nice straight edge sheep's foot blade, very useful. 50-50 choil, nice long cutout for deployment, burlap micarta handles, great access to that liner. You have a lower mounted clip here, works very good for in and out of the pocket. This guy comes in just about seven and a half inches. Love this little thing. It's been one of my favorite users of the end of 2023. Love the Convict. Great little knife. Great price tag. So this is where things started to really get hard for me. Like I said, I worked on this for about an hour. Just, I worked on this longer than that, but an hour at least trying to get everything in order. Maybe an hour and a half. The Kaiser Boo guy makes this list, guys. Coming in at seven and a quarter. My only knock on this knife, and it's not really a knock. I wish this was about eight inches or eight and a quarter. It would be, oh my goodness, so good. It's still very good. 154 CM, you have this unique drop point blade with that swedge starting at the belly and going to the tip. Very unique, very useful as well. That would come in handy at a variety of different tasks. You have this nice straight edge, a nice big belly, fuller and bullet hole style cutout for deployment. Detent is tuned very good. And you have Kaiser's second to none micarta, very well finished micarta. You have a reversible deep carry pocket clip for the Lefty Brothers, great access to the liner. This thing comes in well under a hundred bucks and it's one of my favorite knives of the year. A very unique design. I just wish it was a little bigger. And oh man, this thing would be sweet. We need an XL Boo Guy, Kaiser. So we got the Vasteed Raccoon. Now, I have the drop point in the button lock, and I love this one way more. The Cleaver Sheep's Foot Blade in 14C. This came in a bunch of different flavors. Mine has a satin finished 
cleaver blade with the crossbar lock, the black micarta handles, a filler tab for lefty carry, great job, uh, a lower mounted deep carry clip, open construction, just a nice little user for the money, a very strong crossbar lock. It's a pretty good size. Um, would I mind seeing a little bit bigger one? Uh, I would. I won't mind seeing one in the eight and a quarter or so range, but this is a nice little user and it's done very well since I've had it. And the, the drop point one that I've had, same exact thing. That is also done very well as far as the steel is concerned and the ergos, the raccoon, one of my favorites of the entire year, one of the best values of the year. So now we are in the top five guys and we have the CJRB frack coming in about nine and an eighth inches overall. RPM 9 steel, you have this nice drop point sheep's foot-esque style blade. You have a nice cutout for deployment, frag steel handles. I put a milled clip on this because I love this knife so much. Came with a steel rollover clip, but the milled clip just really brightens this thing up. Great spring detent type action in this thing. Very good user, very good slicer, nice and thin. You can get right up on the edge on this thing. I love it. It's my button lock of the year choice, and it's one of my favorites. Uh, great size, great blade shape, good materials. The RPM9 does well at the price point that it's at. What I like S90V more, you bet your ass, but you're talking another $120 or so. Great knife. Either way, cut the cake. Definitely a good top 20 choice. Then we have number four, guys, the Sokoki. Now, this was very tough, guys. Uh, this is number three, I think I said, for a good reason. Uh, it's a fantastic design. Ray Laconico designed. He had a hell of a year. Uh, you have a coated drop point blade in 14C28N. Multi deployments with the studs and the front flipper. Detent is tuned very good. Access to the liners very good. Nice burlap micarta handles. Usually I don't like burlap, but this really kind of changed the game for me between the Convict and this and the Baltair. Uh, I've started to like some of the burlap. Uh, usually not my favorite though. I more prefer like the Bugai, but some of the burlap is getting better. This has a nice deep carry clip. Great ergos, guys. This is a good size. All the way around, a fantastic knife. Coming in right about seven and a half inches or so. Good little user from Ray Laconico. Hell of a year for him. Hell of a year for a lot of these companies. The Savivi Sakok. Love this thing. Great user. And now we have, in my opinion, the biggest value, the best value of the year. Number two, the Migron Centurion coming in a little over eight inches. And this knife falls under 50 bucks, guys. I seen these at 43 bucks uh, not long ago. And for that, you're getting 14C28N. You get this clip point-esque style blade with this little ramp here awesome looking blade shape and you have a nice amount of straight edge here a little bit of belly and still a little bit of a pokey tip dull thumb studs and a rear flipper tab for deployment it's tuned very well you have semi contoured g10 handles and they are finished extremely well nice clean looking pivot clean show side all the way around great job and on top of all that, for under 50 bucks, you're getting a milled titanium clip and an anodized aluminum pivot collar for under 50 bucks. This is absolutely insane, and I wish they had knives like this back when I was in high school for this same price, G10 Backspacer. Just an ultra comfortable, great material choices, great price tag, the Centurion, one of my favorites of the entire year. Let's get to number one. Now, I looked for reasons and other knives to move into the number one spot. And, you know, I almost put the Century on there. I almost put the Sokoki there. But the Vision FG, guys, it was one of my favorite knives of the year to carry and use. 
It comes in at a decent price point. It's got good materials. It could be debatable whether you want Nitro V or 14C. I think most people would say 14C, but Nitro V is a pretty good steel. Comes in a variety of handle materials. I think they did a Damascus version of this as well. You're getting the Snex Super Lock, which is ultra strong, guys. Uh, very, very strong lockup. You have that nice, useful sheep's foot blade, which I really love because as soon as you are straight on the handle, this is already all angled down. You have a nice little area that you can get up behind the edge there. This is one of my favorite knives of the year, guys, and I think it's, you know, it's number one uh, just based off the design, the lock, the materials, the price tag, and the popularity of this knife. Uh, you know, any one of these knives pretty much could have been number one, but I think this one's probably the most deserving. It was probably the most hype knife of the year under 100 bucks, and it, it lived up to the hype. Let me know what I missed, guys, or, you know, just what I didn't have. Remember, I don't get every knife uh, from every manufacturer that I can just check out and do, you know, I got to buy all these knives or 99% of these knives. So there are knives that are not on this list because simply I just don't own them uh, and they weren't sent to me. So until those days come, uh, I'm going to be limited at what I can bring you guys, but I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have some other knives to add on, let me know. I'd love to hear them. Here is your top two choices again, the Migron Centurion and the Civivi Knives Snex Vision FG, two of my favorite knives of the year. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you hung out through that whole video, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.